Welcome to Local Rock Talk. And um, we have a band called Crew Miracle. Welcome on the show. Hello. How are you, Paul? Thank you. Thanks for having us, man. No problem. Before I start to do an interview, I just want to say the band has a new singer named Kim. That's right. You. Right here. That's, that's you. Right here. That's, that's you. Yeah. yeah, you. You. <laughs> no. They call me Kim. So, so, yeah. That's Kim. I'm Lewis. So, yeah, so welcome to, to the band for them. Thank you. All right. So when did you join the band? And it's been fairly recent. The last couple weeks we've been rehearsing together and playing some music and writing some stuff. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, new, yeah, new songs. Exciting. All right, cool. All right, now we get some good questions now. How did your band start? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, Ken, you always have a great story for how to start it. Yeah, you make it more You make it. You make it nostalgic. So yeah. I do. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Ken, yeah. Ken. Okay. <laughs> no, you, for you, it's I mean, like. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, Louis saw me play at a show in Somerville a few years ago, and he approached me. I was playing as a higher gun for this uh, Latin rock band, and he's like, was it Latin rock? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he said, like, dude, why don't we have made, do a band together? Why don't we play together? And the only, but the only condition was if we had fun at all times. So he's like, yeah, we can do that. We're definitely down for that. So that's how Louis and I got together. Then we needed, so he, Lewis plays drums, I play guitar. Then we needed a bass player, CB came in, and <coughs> we started writing songs. And then we found, we had to find out someone to sing. We found a person, she was singing for a little bit, it didn't work out, and now Kim is the one singing for the band. Awesome, rock on. That's a, the very, the very the <laughs> yeah, 30 second that's version. That's a super short That's version. a 30 second version of yeah. the story. Yeah. Okay. What other bands have you played with? Okay. Hmm. Maybe that's gonna be a long list for you, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Kenny. Kenny the oldest. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um. Jesus, around these parts. Um, it was different projects. Uh, I, I didn't have an actual band, especially not in rock. I was just uh, working with different artists, you know, as a performer and as a producer uh, before Cruel Miracle. Now I'm a one band man. Let's put oh. it that way. <laughs> you, Louis? That's pretty interesting. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love you guys. I know. Why am I going to go to a different. No, no, it's the same. I think um, just. Back home, just nothing really a, a full band, just more small stuff until I decided to join. Well, not join, I just created yeah. with the guys and Kim yeah. also, uh, Crow Miracle. So. Also? Um, I've been singing with a band called The Unoriginals uh, for a while, which is, I think, I think where you maybe first saw me sing. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I played soccer with, yeah. with Ken like a really long time ago, but. I didn't, um, know, I didn't know you sang. Yeah. <laughs> so one day, like, I have a gig tonight. Yeah. I'm like, oh, really? You sing in the band? Yeah. Maybe I should go down and check you out. Well, yeah. just because you play soccer, that's why we thought of you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I, 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 I'm a really good goalie. So I, yeah. Um, so I, I sing in a band called The Unoriginals. It's an alt rock cover band. So, um, they're, we sort of got, like, uh, a reputation for doing like a lot of Rage Against the Machine stuff, which um, he was rocking out at, at a gig that we did. Yeah, because we, we all love Rage Against the Machine, yeah. so we're like, we, we, we were into it when we saw Kim like mm -hmm. rocking out to Rage. Yeah. yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah, so yeah. I got connected with these guys and now I'm here. Yeah, and I met you first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys too, because I never saw you guys play. But yeah, I, man, what happened that time? You were going to come down and see us play. What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, and I'll suck the came up or whatever, so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Tinder date. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Check out the band, Crew Miracle, on Facebook. 
Give them a like. Yes, please. And free beer and when you see us play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Is that false advertising or is that real? How come I don't get free beer when we play? Oh, that's, that's what I said. Don't <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> free beer. For the beer. Cam. Okay. I have another question. How did you meet everyone in your band? Okay. I'll start with that because uh, that's how we go. So uh, I used to know back when I was like growing up, I used to know Lewis's cousin, but I didn't know Lewis at the time. And when I moved to Boston in around 07, someone, someone introduced me to Lewis. And he's like, you know this guy? I'm like, from your hometown? which is Valencia, Venezuela. Like, yeah, I know that person. Well, he's my cousin. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> oh, no <laughs> shit. Cool. So we had friends in common. We didn't know each other, but we had friends in common. So yeah, it's um, like I will always mention, and like, we probably hang out in parties that we didn't even know back home. And then out of nowhere, actually, we start playing basketball, not soccer. And that's yeah. how we kind of start connecting and yeah. everything else. And then I knew about your band that you were playing at that time. So that's kind of the story. And, and somehow you guys knew so each other. So I, I met Ken, uh, like I said before, I was working with different artists as a producer and as a performer. And uh, Kenny was a hired musician for that Latin rock band that he was talking about. And they seeked out to me to uh, produce him. So that's how I met Ken. Cool. Yeah. So, so, so CB came to me too and he's like, I can tell you play <laughs> hard rock music. <laughs> Why don't we do something together? Correct. And that's when at that time we were like trying to figure out yeah. how to look yeah, for so a bass player. Yeah, so everything like coincided. And then CB came along, I'm like voila. Yeah. <laughs> and then you all all know the story, right? By playing soccer and then playing gig soccer, gig, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that gig got rage. Yeah. It, yeah. It's kind of interesting because I'm not like not much for physical activity. That was like the one. So, but you know, they said playing soccer. They wanted only time to do So, so time she paused the audition. Playing soccer. Yeah. She listens to Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. She's that's in. It. That's yeah. it. She likes beer. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, and she likes beer. That's right. Beer doesn't like me, but that's right. <laughs> All right. I have another question. How did you pick a name for the beer? Ooh, good question. That's, 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 that's an scary. interesting You always question. had the great answer for that one. So it's like the we're, we were all kind of, when, when, when we met, we figured out that we were all kind of the problem childs of our family. I don't know if Kim is that bad oh, with her you, family. Oh, you can yeah. tell. I think but I think she is. I think she's a troublemaker. I think she's a troublemaker. So. Um, yeah. It was it was like the birth of the problem child, cruel miracle. You know, like the atomic bomb. You know, it's a blessing, yeah. atomic energy, but at the same time, it's a curse. It's it's a curse and it's destructive. So that's kind of how we came up with the name. Awesome. Thank no? you, Sibi. That's a great way to say. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound nice. So what, no. what was uh, <laughs> that motorcycle club? The were uh, that we're gonna uh, start. Uh, no, no, no. The baby. Right. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> what equipment do you use for a live set? Hmm. Well, what? Go. What equipment? You equipment? Use? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for a live set. All right. So I, I either use um, uh, Gibson Thunderbird. For my bass or uh, or uh, a Fender Jazz, um, I have a bunch of pedals. But in reality, what I, I use a bass a uh, Bassman 500 head and two orange caps. Usually, that's what I that's my setup. Awesome. Yeah, mine is uh, pretty simple. I use uh, DW drums, Sildian uh, cymbals. Um, Diamond Star drumsticks and GoPros everywhere. Yeah, don't forget that. Oh, yeah, and, that's uh, part of my equipment. Yeah, sick. Diamond Star yeah. drumsticks. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, I have one yeah. GoPro camera. You do? When I do bike rides and stuff, 
Yeah, yeah they it's awesome. Cool, I mean, like they're the best. Yeah. You can put it everywhere. Unbreakable. Yeah, they are unbreakable. Yeah, they won't break. You put it in the water, it works. Did you Out of the water, it works. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's always good. Yep. For me, I use a Marshall head. The Marshall head. Uh, my Gibson Les Paul. Never, I never go out without it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, sometimes right you leave it. I know yeah. you have to leave it. Some places you never go out without it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it comes, it always comes back. So very good and like the basic. What's her name? Uh, Olivia is the one I use the most. Here That's you go, Olivia. Yeah. Don't forget that, Olivia. Yeah. Olivia. And uh, and the regular stuff, a wah pedal, distortion pedals, and a D way, basic stuff. I mainly use my larynx. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a uh, megaphone, <laughs> megaphone, SM58 megaphone. Awesome. Pretty low fi <laughs> 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 Okay. What is your main goal for your band? Where do you see yourself in the future? Oh, myself. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm trying to wait for what you yeah, guys are going to say. I was just thinking about it. I know, I'm so just thinking about it. Here. Let's go to the next one. I know. <laughs> go ahead, Kim. What is the future? What, what do you see on the band? Oh, we're taking over the world, right? That's exactly. right. That's what I signed up for. That's what we try to do every night. Mm. More like pink in the brain. That's yep. right. <laughs> <laughs> and having a lot of fun. Yes. Always. Fun, yeah. always. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's what I do with my band. I have fun rocking out and stuff like that. So we go where life takes us, basically. Yeah. And awesome. we try to enjoy it as much as possible. I play bass myself. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool, man. What do you use? What kind of bass? Uh, I sometimes later on, so I'm not telling you the name of it, because I don't look at it, so I'll tell you later. <laughs> All right. Do you have any advice for uh, people who wants to be musicians? Practice. Definitely. Practice makes perfect perfection. Uh, and you never stop learning. Yep. So. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So a lot of dedication and practice. Yeah. Patient. Be patient as well. And do it a lot. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. A lot, a lot. Repetition. Mm-hmm. Alright. Don't be a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can always you can always learn that later. <laughs> See, Lear, what, learn learn an instrument. What, what, did you know that you want to be a DJ? Oh, but I'm that's so what I'm saying, no, but I did. I'm a terrible DJ. I wanted oh, really? yeah, I wanted to DJ like drum and bass. Uh, <laughs> it's, it turns out that's like the hardest music to DJ. Uh, but you know an instrument. I do know an instrument, yeah. So, yeah, you see. see if you know an instrument, it's easier to learn how to be a DJ. That's, I don't know, that's just my theory. Well, yeah, yeah, you have to have knowledge that's of my key, theory, tempo, yeah. and yeah. So, yeah, I agree with that. don't be a DJ first. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. For a younger audience, how can you explain the feeling of playing website in front of your fans? In one word, adrenaline. Mm -hmm. We love it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's our favorite drug. Yeah, it's our favorite drug. You can never get too much of it. And that's for the kids. Do that drug. <laughs> 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 that drug you can do. Uh, yeah, that be careful, yeah. <laughs> uh, any, any, more, any more ideas explaining the all? That's it. Uh, for the kids. Well, see, like, like the guys just mentioned it, and Kim, just see, like, you're gonna be having fun with everybody that's gonna be in there and enjoying the show that you're putting on. So, you think it's a it's a fun place that you're gonna be doing something that you love. Connecting with the audience is connecting is, is all uh, the time. I, yeah. And I think I think it, it it's we should add that you know it doesn't matter if we're playing for a very small crowd or yeah. for a huge crowd. Uh, I mean, we we played both types of gigs and mm -hmm. and we we love it. You know. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, you gotta connect the same way that you connect with a bigger crowd, with a small crowd. That's yeah. Do it because you love it. Yeah. That's it. All right. When did you?
first start playing music? Are you self-taught or did you take classes? Kim. Ken, I yeah. think they're going to find <laughs> out. Yeah. That's how we yeah. can. Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> I have, oh man, I've been making noise with my mouth for as long as I can remember. Um, I tend to not shut up, so it was like natural progression into singer, I feel like, like as soon as I could put words together in sentences. Um, but I picked, up, I picked up playing guitar when I was about 14, started writing songs and wanted to rock out. Um, and then it was just sort of a natural progression from there, just trying to sing and play as much as I possibly could, being in all this, the nerdy school bands, I was in jazz band and choir and um, a whole bunch of other stuff. I started an a cappella group in high school. Did, did you that sing? was an embarrassing point in my what? life. Did you sing at, ch at church? Um, no, Almost. actually no, I did no. not. I did, I did not. not play at church either. Um, my grandmother did. <laughs> I did. I played at church. Really? Well, well, a lot of people start that way. Wow. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah. You're not aligned with the devil. <laughs> 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 Who knows? You know, the devil goes <laughs> to the church too. Okay. In disguise? Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, not your enemy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the closer you're to <laughs> You know what they say. Have your enemies uh, closer. Yeah, mm. exactly. Um, I started when I was around nine. Uh, my older sister had a boyfriend who used to listen to a lot of Megadeth and old Metallica and uh, that's when I and he played a little guitar so when I saw him play and you know we were like in his house or whatever I said you know this is this is what I this is what I want to do and ever since then I didn't know how to even tune a guitar or anything but I was just trying to learn on, on my own. Um, I, you could say I'm self-taught, um, but um, yeah, it's been, that was when I was about nine years old, so wow. it's a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even born, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You guys get younger and younger every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you lie about your age. <laughs> Uh, kind of the same, well, soft to off. I think uh, probably started when on my teens. Um, I stopped for a while and then I just kind of started back again when we kind of got together. Uh, but I, I did stop for, I don't know, a couple of years, I would say. And never took any lessons. Um, just working on it right now. Like, well, let's see, we say it's never too late yeah. to never learn stop learning. and practice. So and you never know ev everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Always Maybe learning. you guys don't. Yeah. Uh, well. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 what about you, Charlie? Kenny, what uh, year? Uh, what year uh, uh, did you for me, grab a guitar for the first time? Around, I was 14, like in 1975. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Wow. Just kidding. I, when I was like 14, I had a neighbor that had a rock band. They played a lot of Metallica and Iron Maiden songs, and they were like my, my immediate neighbor. So they used to invite me, or I, I used to invite myself when they had rehearsal <laughs> at, their, at his house. And uh, just by watching them, I was like, that's so cool, I wanna do that so bad. So that's that what got me hooked into playing guitar. So after that, my only mission was to learn guitar good enough that I could be in a band. So then from, from then on, like, I'm like, I'm, rock is my thing. So I followed that like call. Yeah. All rock music rock. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, the music sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the whole album. Yes, mm. sir. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a new single coming up soon, too. Oh, yeah. So we'll send you that one as soon as it's ready. Very soon. Uh, all right, I have a question. How did you come up with the logo? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I'm, a, I'm a graphic designer. That's, what, that's my day job. So the responsibility for that was on me. I guess, I, I don't know how we got to that logo, but I can tell you how we got inspired. And that's the, the result of the inspiration we got at the time. We wanted something that had a skull, for sure. That was one of the points. Any other point? I don't remember the <laughs> other one. <laughs> that's it. Oh, and it's yeah, like, it has, it has to have a, oh, I remember now. It has to have a skull, and it has to be, the design should be simple enough that it could be anywhere. Like from a stencil to a t-shirt to like a CD, I don't know, like 
like yeah. easy enough to put anywhere. So that was like see two. this right here. Yeah, that's that was made. Okay. Nice. Says the whole soap local rock talk. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I wear it every month for the show. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. So far, we have a good show. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man. We love it here. I know. First time in. Yep. Pretty cool. Cool place. Okay. Um. Is there going to be in a tour? Well, we're always uh, we're always on the road around um, New England. So had plans in the past where where we wanted to maybe explore uh, going international. Um, so we might do that next year. It's, but it's, it's on our radar. It just yeah. hasn't fallen together. But we've been working on it. But we're always we're always uh, on the road around New England at least. So yeah. Maybe Florida is next, right, Ken? Yeah, we definitely. That's the next. Maybe Canada is next. Maybe it's Canada. Closer. Maybe right Canada. Canada. Yeah. Florida is warmer. Like right when it starts to get cold. Uh, Florida. Yeah. yeah. Florida. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I hate May the humid weather. <laughs> Maybe we need to warm up the Canadians too. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, that's just, really that's just like a freezer. <laughs> I know Kenny has an accent, a Canadian accent, right? Oh, he's the one who gets called Canadian I, all the for time. For some reason, oh, yeah, I always get really. uh, Canadian, French Canadian, Canadian, French right Canadian, right here. French Canadian. French Canadian. Oh, we love those fucking French Canadians. I'm like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do too. <laughs> I wasn't born nowhere near Canada, <laughs> so. Uh, what about I, I, I they Canadian, usually yeah. say different places for candy, right? What was the last one? Finland. Finland. Was it Finland? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I get Finland. I always get Venezuela. I don't know I've how. I've never been to Finland. <laughs> really?